Kingdom Ministries. Like the songwriter said, there's something about the name Jesus. And this morning, we just come to you to just lift up the name Jesus. You know, the Bible says, if I be lifted up, if he be lifted up on, on, on a tree, and he'll draw all men to him. So we come this morning for no other reason but to acknowledge that on a hill called Calvary, he was lifted up on a tree for you and for me. And I don't know about nobody else on this morning, but that's good news for me that he uh, uh, was hung on a cross, uh, bled, died, and buried just for me this morning. Hallelujah. Bless God. Well, my name is Pastor Don Turner, and I'm coming to you live from on location in the beautiful city of Charlotte, North Carolina this morning. And we have a treat for you this morning. We're going to uh, dig deep into the, the archives of Double Portion Ministry, and we're going to be blessed by uh, our home covering. Uh, many of you have been on here before when uh, our bishop, uh, our covering, uh, Bishop Stephen Arnold and Grace Temple Church, uh, you know, we talk about it all the time. You know, we spend time in Little Rock there. That's where we go to get fed so that we can come back and feed you, amen. So we're gonna be blessed this morning by uh, Bishop Stephen Arnold and the Grace Temple Church, the Grace Temple Praise Team. We're gonna go and praise Bishop as a, a short word for us. And we just gonna see what the Lord is gonna do this morning. But let's do, this morning's devotional comes from the book of Lamentations, the book of Lamentations, and I'll, I'll be reading out of the Amplified version this morning, and it reads as such, the book of Lamentations, and I'm going to go to uh, verses 40 and verses 41, amen. So the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 40 and verse 41 out of the Amplified, and my Bible reads like this this morning, let us test and examine our ways and let us return to the Lord. Come on, somebody. Lift up your hearts and, and our hands and then with them mount up in prayer, double portion, to God in heaven. The grass weathers and the flowers fade, but the word of God shall stand forever. You know, double portion, uh, each and every one of us has a purpose for living and in, 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 in no one that God brings into life on this earth, Professor Sims, is insignificant, amen? But Bishop Rush, the tragedy is, of all tragedies, is that we should live and die having never found that purpose, that special God-ordained reason for serving our generation. You have, like no other person on this planet, uh, particular contributions, amen? that you are to make to this generation. Uh, they may not be as great as your, your, as your dreams, or they might be far beyond your expectations. But whatever they are, I admonish you this morning, you uh, uh, find them out. Find out what you were created to do, what your God-given purpose, your God-given destiny, and carry it out before you leave this earth. Amen? Let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Father God, we come to you this morning, first and foremost, just to say thank you. Thank you, God, for the breath of life on this morning, because God, it's your breath in our lungs. So we come this morning pouring out our praise to you, God. Now, God, you are a good, good father. You, 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 you're you, awesome. Mm. The word says that, that you're great and greatly to be praised. So for that, God, we come giving you glory. We come lifting up your name. We come lifting up your name, God, not only because of who you are, but because of what you did on that tree on a hill called Calvary. And we are ever so grateful. Now, God, we come this morning pouring out our praise to you, God. But God, we thank you, God, for what you're doing in the lives of these, your people at Double Portion Kingdom Ministries. God, we pray for each and every one of our brothers and sisters within the sound of my voice and brothers and sisters that are here live with us on the Zoom and any person that's watching it on the YouTube playback. God, you know what they've come to you in secret about at four o'clock this morning. So God, we come uh, locking our faith with their faith, standing in the power of agreement, because you said in your word, if any two or more ask anything here on earth in my name, then our Father in heaven would do it. So God, we come standing in the power of agreement and we decree and declare that it's already done in Jesus' name. God, whatever it is that you're dealing with, do it, God, for your glory. Now, God, we pray right now uh, for the hearts and for the minds of the people. God, we pray, God, mm, 
that you align the minds and the hearts of people. We bind any distractions this morning. And God, we thank you, God, that you will get the glory out of this spiritual worship experience on this morning. We give you praise. We give you honor. It's in the magnificent and the marvelous and majestic name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let's go into worship. And once again, we're going to walk you this morning. We're going to walk from Houston, from Charlotte, where I am, from Chicago, hallelujah, God, from Louisiana, wherever you are this morning, from Mexico. We're going to take a, a little ride to Little Rock, Arkansas, and worship with our covering Bishop Stephen Arnold and the Grace Temple Church. Amen. The words will be on the screen. It's almost like a little poem, but I want y'all to just wait and be patient and listen to these words, okay? All right. I don't believe in fairy tales. I guess I've outgrown them. But that doesn't mean that I don't believe that there's something bigger than me. Because I've seen it in the hospital room. The doctor said sorry There's nothing more we can do Listen Well it wasn't true I've never seen a pot of gold At the end of the rainbow But I've got a promise I can hold In the middle of the struggle And now if you said you perform it how I want you to But here's what I'll do I'm gonna wait on you I'm gonna wait on you Yeah I've tasted your goodness I'll trust in your promise I'm gonna wait on you I'm gonna wait on you I've tasted your goodness I'll trust in your promise I'm gonna wait on you oh, yeah. I know you've ordered every step you are the author, and there's no predicting what is next. Yeah, you hold the future, and all the questions, they come seconds to the one I know is true, yeah. You've, You've always, always been, been true, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna wait on you. I'm gonna wait on you. I'm tasting your... I taste the your goodness. I trust in your promise. I'm gonna wait on you. Yeah. I'm gonna wait on you. Yeah. I taste the your goodness. I trust in your promise. Oh God, I've tasted your goodness. I've tasted your promise. I've 
Wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength. So wait. Wait on the Come on, y'all, one more time. Wait on the Lord. One more time. Come on. Wait on it. Wait on
is not over. It may look like there is no way out. It may also feel like there's no other way. And in your mind and in your heart, you want to give up. <laughs> you want to say, God, I just, I, I quit. I, I don't even believe in you. Let's call a spade a spade. Sometimes we, we, I've been there. I don't know if you've been there, but God, are you really real? Because I've been waiting for so long for you to make this move. I've been waiting for so long for you to do this and do that, but I haven't seen it yet. Where is my trust? But I hear the Lord say, in the fire you are purified. <laughs> So while you're going through what you're going through, you're getting purified. <laughs> He's burning away what he don't want you to have. <laughs> He's burning away what don't look like him. <laughs> and he's like, I want you to look like me. I want you to walk like me. I want you to talk like me. I want you to live like me. I want you to move like me, but he's waiting on you. Wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength, so wait I say, wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength, so wait. is coming breakthrough is coming just trust him trust in the Lord I say 
Trust in the Lord, I say. <laughs> Trust in the Lord, I say. 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 Yeah, one last time. They that wait, come on. They, they that, that wait, wait on the Lord, on the Lord shall renew, renew their strength. They shall mount up, up on wings like an eagle and soar. They shall run and I get weary. They shall walk real big. And I think that's what happens when you have any waiters in the house tonight? Got about three or four. Any more waiters? I know it's not everybody. I know some people got everything together, you know, but any waiters in the house that is really waiting on God to make a move? Any waiters that don't know if God is going to make a move? God, thank you for giving us the ability to wait. God, thank you for life. I thank you for another day so we can decide to continue to wait on you. If you would just raise your hand and say, God, I don't mind waiting on you. Now this time, close your eyes and forget about your neighbor and just say it from the place of where you actually need them and say, Lord, I don't mind waiting on, on you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody worship while we wait. Come on. Yes. Come on. Let's worship while we wait. Let's not wait with our mouths closed. Let's not wait with our attitudes adjusted. Come on, let's go ahead and keep a grateful heart. Let's go ahead and open up our mouths with gratefulness right now. Says, says, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Can y'all say that? Say, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Open your mouth and say it today. Come on, say, I don't mind waiting on you. I don't mind waiting. You're the promise keeper. I don't mind waiting on you. Come on, say, I don't mind. Sing, Lord, I need you. Sing, yes, I need you. Come on, let's call his name. Come on, say, say, Jesus. Say, Jesus. Sing, Lord, I need you. Somebody call his name, Jesus. Jesus. Sing, Lord, I need you, God. I I can't make it without you. Yes, Yes, I I need you. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, boys. I don't mind. Say that. Come on, say I don't mind waiting. I don't mind He's on his way on you. On say I don't you. mind waiting. I don't yeah. mind You're the way maker, God. I don't mind waiting. 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 I don
don't mind waiting for you. I don't mind waiting. Yeah, I don't. Don't mind waiting on you. Say, Lord, I need you. Come on, somebody lift your hand and just tell God. Sing, yes, I need you. Yes, I need you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Lord, I need you. God, when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I'll agree. And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Somebody say, I don't mind waiting. I don't. me now, my Savior, I come, ah, glory, glory, I come, I, I'm not perfect, but I I come to you, I come to you, I come to the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, you are. 
way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my, my God, God, that is who you are. We know you to be a way, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Come on, say it again. You are way, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Come on, say it again. Say it again. You are my way, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is. moving in the midst and we worship you and we worship you help me say God you are here and you're turning lives around and we worship you and we worship you bless them everybody open your mouth and say you are way maker way My God, that is who you are. Say again, you are way, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Say that is who you, that is who you are. Yeah, that is who you are.
Thank you for being here. Thank you for your presence, God. Thank you for your presence, God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even when I don't see it, even when I don't feel it, you will never stop. You never stop working. 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 You never stop working, yeah. You never stop working. You never stop working. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you work. Even when I don't feel it, you work. Never stop. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop working. Oh, we make a miracle worker. 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 That's why we don't mind waiting. He's a way maker. A miracle worker. We make miracle Yeah, we make a miracle worker. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. Oh. Both hands together, give God glory, give God praise in this house. He is the miracle worker. Hallelujah. He never stops working. While you're resting, he's working. While you're asleep, he's yet working. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Stretch your hands to the altar. God, I thank you, Lord, for these, my two daughters, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in their lives. Hey, glory, you're raising them up, God. You're raising them up. Hallelujah. And I pray, God, that you would continue to activate every gift, every anointing that you placed in both of them while they were yet in their mother's womb. And now God orchestrate everything that pertains to where they are and for where you're taking them. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God, for where they are. But God, we stand on tiptoes of anxious expectation for everything that you have planned and destined for their life. Somebody say in Jesus' name, put those hands together, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what you call a divine interruption. This is the Lord's house, and he reserves all rights and privileges to intervene and to do whatever he so desires to do. He can interrupt our program so that his plan and purpose is made known among us. God has an amazing way to get the glory because sometimes we think it's all about us. Sometimes we think it's all about what we plan to do. But I don't know about you. I love it when God steps in to do something supernatural. Hallelujah. While you're yet standing in the midst of all of this, I'm going to share with you 
what this worship experience has been pointing to from the very beginning because somebody is in a waiting season you're, you're in a waiting season <laughs> you're frustrated because you've been waiting you think too long but God is never in a rush <laughs> because time is on his side and so David says in Psalms 27 verse 13 and 14 David says I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living then in verse 14 he says wait on the Lord and have a good attitude be of good courage and he might strengthen thine heart he shall strengthen your heart wait I say on the Lord David is admonishing us y'all even have to sit down I ain't gonna be long David is admonishing us wait on God wait on don't 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 rush don't get in a hurry don't take matters into your own hand and David says all of this because David had some personal experiences with God somebody say personal experience yeah and that's what David is talking about in verses 1 and 2 when he said the Lord is my light he didn't say the Lord used to be my light he didn't say that the Lord was trying to be his light he said the Lord my light and my what then he got bold and said whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my light of whom shall I be afraid David had personal experience with God but not only did David have personal experience with God get this David had expectation of God anybody got expectation oh y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself I don't know about y'all but every day of my life I'm expecting God to do something supernatural in my life I'm expecting him to make a way where there is no way I'm expecting God to change hearts I'm expecting God to mend broken hearts I'm expecting God to draw people from the north east west and south and everywhere in between because we serve a God that nothing is too hard for him to do if God could bring an African-American church from East Little Rock to West Little Rock God can do it somebody say I expect it yeah I expect God because the Bible says now unto him that is what to do what and abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us I've got experience with God you can't make me doubt him I know too much of <laughs> and before I take it back I'll add some more to it I expect I expect God Ooh, Jesus but but then David said I'm going to encourage you all yeah I'm going to encourage you and that's why David said wait on the Lord and, and get this right here David says I can wait on God because I'm going to stay in his presence Ooh, somebody say stay in his presence and, and that's what God was doing today he was making his presence known oh my God God, God, God said if you don't believe about my presence I'm gonna show you because see some of us don't believe nothing until he shows us <laughs> none of this was pre-planned God just stepped in 
Yeah. God just bust into our little worship service and just moved everything around. Somebody say his presence. And don't wait till Sunday morning to get in his presence. In the morning, Monday morning, you ought to get into his presence. You ought to have a God awareness of who God is. He's large and in charge. He's everywhere. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the world and they that dwell in all belong to him. Your personal time of his presence. And that way when we come to church, it's on and popping. Because you bring your private game to the public game. And, and, and when that happens, you don't need the praise team. You don't need the musicians. You don't even need the preacher because when you think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you, you'll get excited and start praising him. Somebody say, stay in his presence. And then keep believing. Somebody say, keep believing. David says in, in, in verse 13, he said, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord when in the land of the living. There's some stuff that God has promised each of you. You can't die until you see it. Oh my God. <laughs> but there's some stuff I'm believing God for and I can't exit stage left until I see it. Somebody say keep believing. And, and then he, he, here's the last thing. D David says, stay in his presence. Keep believing. But then get this. Understand the process and trust the process. Yeah, because it is a, a process. There's a thing called seed time harvest. <laughs> once you sow the seed, see, once the farmer sows the seed, it's in God's hand. It's in the ground hand. And what goes on under the ground is not our business. Because God is in charge of when the harvest comes. And that's why God says, don't be weary in well-doing. Why? Because in what? Somebody say, I'm going to wait for my due season. But then, I remember some years ago, I had my kids, we had gone out to eat, and I'm, I'm very impatient. My wife would tell you this one, I'm very impatient when it comes to a restaurant. When a brother hungry, I'm hungry. But we, we, I had taken the kids to this particular restaurant, and I knew the manager and everything, and, and I put the order in, and time went by, and the food hadn't arrived yet. And I got a way of stopping the, the waiter. I said, hey, 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 what, what's, what's going on? He said, Bishop, what you ordered wasn't on the menu. It was a special order. And special orders take a little more time. <laughs> you didn't want just any man. You got a special order. You don't want just any wife. You got a special order. You don't want any kind of job. You got a special order. And I stopped by this morning to tell somebody, special orders take time. And in God's own time, God will bring your special order to your front door. So this morning, I'm encouraging all of us to wait. Because while you're waiting, God is teaching you. Somebody say, teach me. See, sometimes there's some things about ourselves we don't know. And what God has in store for you, he sometimes has to show you, you. so that you'll know how to act when the blessing shows up. 
And, and then get this right here. Not only is he teaching you, get this, he's transforming you. Because the way you are now can't fit where God is taking you. And so this morning, there's a song that says, I don't mind waiting. So this morning, right where you are, you just start worshiping God and make up in your mind, Lord, I've experienced some things. I'm expecting some things. And God, you've given me encouragement today to wait on you. Everybody stand to your feet. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. If you're in that I season now, meet me at the waiting. altar because I just want to pray a prayer of faith I over you this morning. Waiting. Say that, daughter. Say that. Yes. Mm. Yes. Scoggins. So God, here we are, seeing what you said, that you would bring us to a place deep in your presence, but for some reason, God, we have not tasted all that you have for us yet. But God, we first of all ask for forgiveness for rushing you, realizing that there is no way that we can rush the one who has created time, that there is no way that we can rush you, our creator, that knows exactly where we need to be and what condition we need to be in when we get there. So God, I pray for everyone, whether they are at the altar, whether they are in their seat, whether they are watching live online or the replay, God, I pray that by the power of your Holy Spirit, that you will never allow the dream and the visions that you have poured on the inside of us to drown by distractions or to get drowned with discouragement or to get washed away by waiting but allow us to treat this time 
just like a waiter treats how they serve those at a restaurant. So God, I pray by the power of your Holy Spirit that we will worship while we wait, that we will study while we wait, that we will continue to be about your business while we wait that we will stop trying to make our own way while we wait. God, you know the time. You know the deadline. You know the beginning from the end. You said in your word, I am Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, and you are everything in between. God, there is somebody that is so close to their breakthrough that they can taste it. As a matter of fact, God, somebody has already been prophesied to that their breakthrough is coming. Now, God, allow us not to be reckless while we're waiting. Allow us to be careful to guard our hearts, guard our minds, and guard our spirits. God, we know what you got in store for us. Matter of fact, you got so much in store for us that if we got it right now, it would be premature. So God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that we will be able to fit where we're going, that we will have the capacity to walk in the blessing that you have for us. And they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We will mount up on wings like an eagle. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. We bind the enemy that is on the outside of this experience that will try to lie to us and to tell us that what we experienced was only emotional. But God, we know that your spirit is real and living on the inside of us. Satan, you messed up. You blinked. You allowed me to get to the house of the Lord among my brothers and my sisters. You messed up when you let me live. You messed up when the car accident didn't kill me. You messed up when the weed didn't take me out. You messed up when I continued to worship God. Now, Lord, stand with us, stand up in us, and go before us and allow the world to know that you are God and beside you there is none other. God, it's done. And God, even if we have to declare by faith, we don't mind waiting. God, some of us really don't want to wait, but God, give us the peace to wait. Give us the patience to wait. Grant us your presence to wait and allow you to be glorified. It's in the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Those that agreed, holiday, amen. Amen. And amen. 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 As you return back to your seats, get your communion ready. Neil, Neil.
What kind of love is that? What kind of love is that? And I am so thankful that you are my family. I'm so thankful you are my brothers and sisters. I'm so glad that the miracles that we talked about, this is one. You're standing in one. We're in one. So let's take the meal of the family. On the night that he was betrayed, he told his disciples, this bread represents my body. And this cup represents my blood. And what will happen is my body will be broken and my blood will spill so that we can be together and that we can be family. So my family, let's do this together. be seated. Hallelujah. Everybody say, Wow. 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 That right there. I really don't have words to say. I'm not going to say a lot of words. I cannot wait for the playback because I need to, I have notes. I need to go back and listen to that again. I need that prayer all over again my god in heaven so let me just give us our announcements and we'll go back in and close with worship god is going to get all of the glory from what he's doing god we thank you for joining us what you guys have just been partaking of and and know how special you are that god we were going to be there in little rock that was where we were going to live but the spirit of the living God brought us here to Houston and he birthed this thing this way, but he's kept us connected. I stand in awe of God and I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting in his presence for what he's going to do next. So God, we thank you and we praise you for all that our ears have heard on this morning. Thank you for the grace, the grace, the grace, the grace, the grace. And so by way of our announcements, we want you to be praying for Grace and Bishop Arnold on next Saturday, August the 13th. Bishop will be celebrating 40 years of grace. That's 40 years of preaching and teaching the word of God. For those of you that are in the Little Rock area, there is still time for you to get your ticket and come to this event. You can go to eventbrite.com and go look online for this celebrating 40 years with Bishop. Um, and there, the phone number is here online if you're there and you want to get that. Or you can contact them on Facebook as well. The special guest is going to be comedian Marcus Watt. Wiley, you know, Houston, we, as Don said earlier, we're traveling all over the place. Marcus Wiley is from here in Houston, and he's going to be there in Little Rock, and you're going to crack up, but get blessed at the same time. Join us on Saturday, August the 13th at 5 p.m. at the Chanel Country Club. It's located at 10 Chanel Club Boulevard there in Little Rock. And so we want to, again, be praying for Bishop, um, be praying also for myself and Pastor Don. As he said, he's in North Carolina right now. He'll be traveling back. We'll be traveling next weekend. So just keep us lifted in prayer. Thank you to the intercessors for what God is having us do. AK also, my birthday is on Saturday, August the 13th, and it's just God is doing things. And so we want the men to prepare to come online on August the 18th at 8 p.m. Thursday, August the 18th at 8 p.m. It is a prayer call, calling all men, calling all men, real men pray. If you don't know how, get around some that know how so you can flow with, with and in your divine purpose. Somebody was saying that early. Pastor Don was talking about it's time for us to flow in our purpose and our destiny. So get the men on the line on Thursday night. And then on Thursday, August the 25th, we'll be going through the names of God on generational identity. And we will just hear what God is saying to us throughout the, we're going to end this year getting to know God by his name, by his character, because who are you waiting on? Are you waiting on M. Kadesh to sanctify you? Are you waiting on Rafa to heal you? We're going to learn all his names, so join us. I get excited right there. If you haven't already, register online for the Double Portion Identity Retreat 2023. That's April 21st through 23rd at Jordan Ranch. Your registration link is dpkm 
www.ticketleap.com or email us, text us, and we can send you the link to let us know you're interested. I'll be sending out an information email to everyone that is already registered. So if you haven't registered already, please get registered so you'll be included in that initial info email and how to pay. There is a, a $30 discount if your registration is paid in full by the end of November. So we want to give you the opportunity to do that. Thank you everyone that sows into Double Portion Kingdom Ministries. You can do that on Cash App, dollar sign, Paulette X7. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that's sowing in. God is blessing his people and, and expanding what he's doing with Double Portion Kingdom. If you'd like to send us an email, our email address is paulettex7 at gmail.com. And make sure that you follow us on YouTube for uh, because this message will be available. We have other messages that are there on our YouTube channel. And so that's what I have had on this morning. Pastor Don, I know you're going to come up and give us the closing, the, the benediction as we go back into um, grace and be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Okay, this morning, uh, before we close, though, Pastor Paulette is going to be traveling for her birthday, and so she'll be somewhere out in the Caribbean and not have access to the call. So if there is anybody, anybody on with us this morning, and if you want to just come up briefly and wish uh, Dr. Paulette a happy birthday, uh, you are welcome to do so. So, Doctor, can you go ahead and monitor that as they want to come up? Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Dr. Bullet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Can you hear me? <laughs> We're hearing you. We're hearing you. Thank you, Bishop. Chapter 52, loading, loading, chapter 52. Oh, I I thought it was more like 25, but we thank God for you. Put the numbers God around. Is looking good on that end. You're blessed, and you are a blessing. This message today, and yes. the uh, the anointing that was on that mess. I mean, that's like God saying, "I need you to hear this message. This might not be for everybody else, but you need to hear this message." And I receive it. Don't mean to stay so long. Thank you so very much. God bless you and happy birthday. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Paulette. Good uh, morning, Miss Ursula. I just wanted to wish you a happy, wonderful birthday. 52 looks so good on you. So I just bless God for you on this morning and just looking forward to, to having you here many, many more years. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Miss Althea, good. and then Miss, it'll be Althea, then Dodie, then Terrence. Go ahead. 52 and fabulous. <laughs> Happy birthday when he comes on Saturday next week. Um, I enjoy you so much. Um, I wish you all the best, that you have a fabulous time in the Caribbean and you'll be living that life and looking forward for you for many, 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 many more years. May God bless you and keep you and uh, keep you safe and um, may his light continue to shine upon you. Mm -hmm. And um, so you may spread that light onto others. Thank Happy you. birthday. <laughs> and so then it was Dodie. Go ahead, Dodie. Happy birthday, uh, Dr. Paulette, and certainly wishing you many, many, many more blessings and many, many uh, more love, joy, peace, happiness, you know, and you have been a blessing in my life, you as well as uh, Pastor Don. So um, I thank God for you guys and then just happy, happy birthday and many blessings to you. And I love you all. Love you too. Amen. Thank you so much. Terrence, I see your phone was unmuted. You want to say something? Happy birthday and many more to you. And I thank God for using you and your husband for the things that were brought into the, the words that have been bringing into my life and many more birthdays to you. Thank you. Thank you. Right there. Let me pray. God, I thank you for Brother Terrence. I thank you for his journey. 
is journey of waiting in your presence. I thank you for every transformation encounter that you have for him. I thank you that his ladder shall be greater. I thank you that he is a mighty man of valor. I decree and declare that the word will come out of his mouth like a sharp sword and it will cut off everything that's not like you and you will get the glory in Jesus name. And I pray that same prayer for the double portion flock of men. We have Brooks, we have Kurt, we have Ezekiel on the line with us this morning, Bishop Rush, all the men that are attached to us, Javon, we thank you, God, for blessing the men richly in this time and in this season. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, and bless God. Is there anyone else? I like to pray, y'all. That Terrence just stirred something up in me. <laughs> Sister Linda, you're trying to get your thing off. Go ahead. Yes, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Hi, sister. <laughs> this should be a blessing. Happy birthday. You just enjoy yourself, girl, and you have a great time and be safe. I enjoy the services this morning. I love you both and take care. Love to you. Bye bye. Love you. <laughs> love you. Love you, LaShawn. I hear you. I see you there. Go ahead. Good morning, and I just would like to say happy, happy, wonderful, and blessed birthday to you, woman of God. You are a blessing to us all. I just thank God for you, and I pray that your birthday celebration be wonderful. You relax, get some rest, and God just renew and revive you uh, for, the, for the next, and I thank God for you and Pastor Dunn, Double Portion Ministry. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Is there anyone else before Pastor Don? I yield it back to you. I'm excited. God is speaking. Right. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you so much, you know, Double Portion, for uh, sticking around. I know we're a little bit longer this morning. We got but Brooks. 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 Pastor Brooks, go ahead. Yeah, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning. Yeah, yes, uh, God bless you all. And I just want to wish uh, my sister, Sister Paulette, Pastor Paulette, wish you many more, many more birthdays. And so there's a blessing to even make it to over 50. So I didn't want to miss, uh, wish you a happy birthday and safe travel to wherever you're going. May God continue to cover you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much, Brooks, to you and your wife. Thank you. We have Ezekiel and then Professor. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Blessing upon you, happy, happy birthday. I love you, big sis. <laughs> I thank you for all the encouragement. You are a mighty woman of God. You move in a spirit of excellence. And God is proud of you. You are beloved by God. And you are beloved by your little brothers and sisters. And I love you. Happy birthday. You're great. Thanks, Ezekiel. Woo! Professor? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go right ahead. Uh, I just want to take a moment <clears throat> just to say thank you to all, and I'm going to say it again, all, I'm going to say it again, all of the many wonderful things that you have done in my life since we have known each other. And you know, when we met at the summit, uh, at one of the hotels during the summer, we all just happened at the, to sit at the same table. <laughs> and we got to talking and we've been talking ever since. ever since. And I thank you so very, very much for the many wonderful things you have said to me and have done for me. The meetings that we have had uh, with playback and, and the meetings we've had about personal things with my brother and all the things that you and Pastor Don has just thrown yourselves into my life to help me to uh, get through the thing that I've had to face over the last years that we have been together. And you better, I'm going to say it again, you better have a good time. You better get you some rest and come back just, 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 just looking good and feeling great and just ready to continue the mighty work that you're doing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I just thank you and Pastor Don for uh, Double Portion Ministries because you have no idea how you have helped by pouring into me and my life. Because I was on a, 
a, a, a, a, a, another path, but you all have helped me. I'm not, I was saved and all that kind of stuff, but you know how we all get sometimes. We fall down and seem like we just can't get up. Mm. But I have seen time when you were on one side and Pastor Down was on the other side and Deborah Portion was in the middle of all of that stuff oh, and helped to, help to get me up and get me going again. Because there were times I thought I wasn't going to make it. But uh, with, 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 all, with all of you all in Deborah Portion, all of you in Deborah Portion, I just want to say throughout a big old thank you and uh, for having helped me personally to uh, get my life straight. And I don't mean nothing sinful or bad. It was just the ups and the downs that life can throw in our way sometime. And you all were there and you all know some of you personally, I don't have time to call your name, but you know who you are. You know who you've stuck with professor along the way. And uh, I say, God bless all of you. Thank you for that opportunity to say uh, happy, happy birthday. I don't sing, I'll speak for you, but I don't sing nothing. So. Uh, happy birthday to you, baby girl. Thank hey. you, Professor. I saw Kurt off, off mute. Kurt, you had something to say? Happy birthday, Miss Turner. Thank you. And have and have a safe travel. You and your husband have a safe travel and stay blessed because you guys have blessed me plenty of times. And me and my family. You guys are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. And just stay blessed and God bless you and your family. Amen. Thanks so much. Amen. All right. Let me just go ahead. Let me just come right here. Kurt, I, I, I need to publicly tell you something. Uh, Brother Kurt and I had a, a disagreement, you know, uh, but the Bible says that, uh, that, that we should not forsake fellowship. So the enemy tried to come between us in a disagreement and we talked it out. And brother Kurt, I just want to publicly acknowledge to you that I was wrong. I like apologize. Please like forgive me. And I love you, my brother. That's that's what I needed to say. Go ahead, doctor. You know what? When thank you, Pastor. Pastor. Thank mm -hmm. you. When Pastor Josh was doing communion, he said, now as we come and partake of communion and he said, it's the meal of the family. Communion is the meal of the family and, and Grace United, that's Grace Temple and Grace Church. Those are three entities joining together there in Little Rock. Every week they partake of communion, every single week. It's not just a once mm -hmm. a month thing. And so I, even with what Pastor Don and Kurt just did, I thank God for the communion, the common union. We come together and break bread and God is getting the glory out of all of this. The screw tape element was exposed that the enemy was trying to have the brethren be upset and with each other. And he humbled the both of you to reduce pride and come on and get back together. So God, we thank you and we praise you for the restoration and the reconciliation of relationships. And we ask you, God, even as spiritual leaders, you said not many of you should profess to be teachers or leaders because we're held to a higher standard. And so so we stay humble in your presence. We wait in your presence as you humble us, as you chisel off anything in us that's not like you. And we thank you for the people that you have given us to have spiritual watch over their souls and to be a portion of the building up of your people for such a time as this, for the equipping of the saints, for the perfecting and the maturing of each and every one of us. So God, we thank you that because you forgave us, we forgive others and thank you for forgiveness constantly flowing on each and every one of us. God, if I've said or done something, if Pastor Don has said or done something to offend anyone, we ask you to cover it with the blood of Jesus, which is love because love covers a multitude of sin as we partake of communion the family meal putting you in remembrance of what you've done in jesus name all right pastor don i'm throwing back to you amen hallelujah well once again uh people of god please keep us in prayer uh because we're we're doing a lot of moving around i'll be moving flying from charlotte to like houston on friday evening and then Saturday morning, we're going to have breakfast together. Dr. Paulette and I are going to have breakfast and celebrate her birthday. And she's off to the Caribbean and I'm off to Little Rock to be with our like, you know, spiritual father. And he doesn't even know yet. But 
anyway, just keep us in prayer and that God sends his angels before us. Amen. Thank you for each and every one of you for uh, just hanging around later this morning. We know we're a little bit longer than usual, but God was up to something this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, Dr. Paulette, you saying something? Hallelujah. I was just lifting my hands in total praise. That's how we going out in total praise. Hallelujah. Total praise. So God, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor for what eyes have seen and for what ears have heard. And God, as we wait, let us not just uh, take this word, but Lord, let us work this word and let us be doers of this word. And God, as we wait, let us worship you. Let us serve you, God, because God, you know that hallelujah, that the, the, the word minister means servant and each and every person within the sound of my voice, whether you're in a pulpit or not, you are a minister of the living God. And as a part of being a minister, you should wait just like a servant. You should wait. So as we wait on the Lord, let us wait on our brothers and sisters. It's in Jesus name. I pray. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. But most of all, May the Lord give you peace. Shalom, double portion. Ooh, Jesus. You are the source of my strength. You are the strength of my life. Ha <laughs> ha.